Hello, and welcome to Movie Minute. I'm Colin, and today we're going to be talking about our Christmas film series entry, Batman Returns. When Warner Brothers gave Tim Burton free reign on making a sequel to his popular Batman film, they probably anticipated something similar to the first, a story with action, romance, and a recognizable villain. What we got was a lot darker, weirder, and oddly enough, Christmas-themed. Crooked industrialist Max Schreck plots to build a power plant that will sap Gotham of its energy. He allies with the Penguin, a sewer-dwelling supervillain, intent on terrorizing the city. It's up to Batman to stop them both, but he'll also need to match wits with a new anti-hero in town, a mysterious Catwoman. The final Christmas ball scene is quite symbolic. Since it's a masquerade party, all of the guests are in disguise, but only two guests there aren't wearing masks, Bruce Wayne and Selina Kyle. This implies that their real personalities are Batman and Catwoman, respectively, and that their public appearances without costume is just a disguise for the rest of society. Before you press play, go ahead and head to the section below for some trivia on the film. Batman Returns is available on DVD at WashoeCountyLibrary.us. See you for the next movie.